church leaders and wives of leaders from different denominations took turns to lead the women to pray for God's mercies for the country, the forthcoming general elections, religious bodies, the university system, and spiritual reawakening in every home. Representative of the wife of the state governor, Mrs. Nosa Aladesholu, Attorney General of the state, Professor Yinka Omorogwe, and some other dignitaries present are optimistic that the program will yield positive results. Every sector of development in Nigeria, they have been touched by the prayers of the women today. In accordance with the word of the Lord, as they decree, even so shall it be established. In A lot of things that are going on proves to us that it is only God that can help us. The vision bearer and convener of the program, Pastor Margaret Agonifo, took a test from Ezekiel chapter 21 from verse 25 to 27. If every family raise up godly children and mothers do the right thing, I think we'll have a beautiful society. By the grace of God, we have decreed peace upon the land. We, have, we also decree progress upon the land. A 64-page book titled Divine Overturn and another Mother Decree 18 Volume 2 100 Prayer Points were launched. For the forthcoming general elections, other participants are hopeful that with the prayers offered, it is going to be peaceful. That is going to give us joy. Anybody that is going to give us joy that is in the seat now, the Lord will bring him to pass. Anyone that will not give us joy, the Lord will uproot him. This Until we all become interested in politics, who are true children of God, the evil men and women will come. What is happening here today is a divine calling. Cash and empowerment items were presented to widows and the underprivileged. There was the sorting of the land as a sign of spiritual consecration and thanksgiving by the women for prayers answered. In Benin, Bokola Urugusi, NTNews.